Vectors in variable dimensions. You are a space-time traveller who can travel across the universe. You want to know where you can go, so you've got yourself a list of Anker's coordinates. As you travel not only in 3D space, there can be more than three associated components for each point. The goal of this exercise is to output the shortest non-zero and the longest vectors you can form from your list by pairing any two points in combination. So the first line, which is this, is an integer d for the number of dimensions your points will be in. The second line is this, which is an integer n for the number of points you receive. The for loop is one point per line written like a012. Every component is integer. The output, the first one, is the shortest non-zero vector. If it is the one between A and B, it will be this. The second line is this, so which is outputting the longest vector, written the same way. So for constraints, one less than or equal to D is less than or equal to 10. Two less than or equal to N is less than or equal to 100. Minus 20 is less than or equal to each component which is less than or equal to 20. It is guaranteed that there is only one shortest and one longest in each case. They can never have two vectors with the same names. So this is the example for input and output. There's five test cases for this solution and uh, let's do it.
This code initializes an empty array called points and sets initial values for the min and max points. The code prompts the user to provide two integers, d and n, through the standard input. The integer d represents the dimension of the points and n specifies the number of points. It then enters a for loop that iterates n times. Within each iteration, the code reads a line from the standard input, trims any leading or trailing white space, and uses a regular expression pattern match to extract the name and coordinates of the point. This is where the available coordinates come in because it is stored there. It checks if the calculated distance is smaller than the current minimum distance stored in min1. If so, it updates the min variable to store the name, distance, and vector representing the difference in coordinates. This verifies should the calculated distance is greater than the current maximum distance stored in max1. If it is, the code updates the max variable to hold the name, distance, and vector information. After processing all points, the code outputs the name and vector of the closest point and the name and vector of the furthest point.